Hi angels, my name is Ebony and in this video we're going to go over the significance of seeing angel number 919. So it took me a little while, um, my last two videos were like about animal totems and it was not a really positive vibe but I still was there to record because it was like authentic and like really what I was going through at the time. But I had to take a little reset and come to my favorite place so that I can really tap into um, angelic messages and not like spirit animal totems and really tap into the meaning and the messages of seeing angel number 919. So if you've been seeing angel number 919 everywhere, go no further. We're going to delve into some messages your angels may be communicating to you if you see this angel number me personally i got a great love for this angel number shout out to everybody in durham north carolina <laughs> shout out to my durham angels and my duke fans <laughs> and everybody that uh vibrates with that 919 energy so um when we break down this number 919 nines always signify endings completion um, the end of a cycle, the end of a phase. And ones represent uh, manifestation, new creations, um, materializing, illumination, leaders, things like that first, being first. All right? New creation. So when you see 919, they're both coupled together and the root number is one. So usually when you do like angel number nine, 99, 99, anything like that, um, triple nines, it always breaks down to the number nine. But now this is a little different because the root number is one, so it's signifying like new beginnings. So it's endings, closures, coupled with new beginnings. So angel number 919 is a symbol of good fortune. Like, like you're gonna be compensated for all your hard work, all of your good deeds. Um, having a pure heart, being nice and loving to people, like you're going to be rewarded for that. No matter what you've been going through, when you see this number, like you will be rewarded for keeping your heart pure, keeping a good, um, honest and loving energy. God don't bless no mess, okay? So you have to make sure that the energy you're putting out is conducive to the fortune and the blessings and the manifestations that you want to receive. And because the root number is one, it's also representing a fresh start. Like you're getting a brand new start. Like when one door closes, millions of doors open for you. It doesn't mean it's the end. It means more doors. There are more doors for you that are about to open, that are opening for you. And you need to walk through them. So seeing angel number 919 is a good sign, a good omen. Um, a nice little nudge if you're going through a rough patch because it's letting you know that that will soon be over Like you're gonna be rewarded for your hard work Like another strong energy of seeing nines the number nine is the love energy like an unconditional love like um, Not picking and choosing when you want to love someone like a genuine, pure, loving energy. Like this is your heart. This is who you are every day. Not when you're happy, not when somebody does something for you. This is like your, this is your overall vibe. Like a genuine love vibe. Like you know those type of people that are always loving and you know those type of people that are always loving when you're doing something nice for them. No, this um, vibrates with um, real, genuine, unconditional love. So anything that is not aligned with your highest good or is not for you, it has to fade away. It has to go away. It cannot come with you to this next level. It can't come. You may be forcing situations or forcing um, relationships or unions or partnerships. If they fall apart, they are not destined to go with you to this next level. Let it be, okay? Let it be. That which does not align with your highest self, your better good, your ultimate truth, with your heart and your desires, it has to be purged. It has to be destroyed. It has to be removed 
from your life. If not, it's a barrier. It's holding you up, okay? So when you see this number, be prepared for some endings and some closures and welcome it. Don't spend a lot of time being in your feelings. Like, get over it as quickly as you can. <laughs> get over it so you can welcome in the new, okay? We're not gonna spend a lot of time in a low vibrating energy that's gonna bring us down. We wanna stay on this high flying disc and we wanna stay connected to the love vibration. So when you see this angel number, love is right around the corner. You may be ending a relationship with a lover who, um, don't love you simple as that a lover that's not for you a lover that doesn't mean you well and you have to release this so that new love can come and it's so right around the corner for you like i promise you it's so right around the corner but you gotta really fully be cleansed of this past situation okay you gotta fully be cleansed and once you release that the new love can enter start over it's okay to start over it's okay. It's not okay to remain stuck. It's not okay to remain in in, uh, in a place where you're not welcome and you're not wanted and you're not loved. That's not good. And you're not appreciated. Okay? Make the changes you need to make. Purge, release, destroy, uh, remove, replace. Whatever you got to do so that you can stay, um, stay in that love vibe and welcome in the new. So angel number 919 has a strong twin flame energy. So it's a very promising sign that your soulmate, your true love, your twin flame, um, a new partner that's better suited and better fit for you is um, on the way. The number nine also um, represents and vibrates with the universal spiritual laws. That's why it was so important for me like i knew that this was the next video but the last videos i recorded was the snake symbolism and the owl symbolism and it was like a lot of snake energy a lot of uh unwanted negative energy uh, with my last few uploads and just with what i've been going through personally i kind of felt like i was under spiritual attack and then i kind of felt uh, a little down because i felt to blame for like i knew it like i ignored my intuition that's why in those videos i was like it's too great of a price you got to pay when you ignore your intuition i knew i had to like make some personal changes before i recorded this 919 video because i know that nines vibrate with love i know they vibrate with uh spiritual laws and i was violating a lot of those spiritual laws going against my intuition going against my better judgment you know so i wasn't really taking heed to the messages that my higher self and my intuition and my angels and my divine guidance and pretty much every damn body around me <laughs> was telling me and i suffered because of that okay so it took me a while especially knowing the the energy of this like i had to for one be authentic and pure and i had to learn to like really just sit back and like delve back in go back to the basics i wrote on my whiteboard like back to the basics we're going back to the basics and we're um we're gonna start over from scratch because this right here not cutting it, okay so when you see this number your angels may be calling you to take a step back remove yourself from any situation that ain't right look at it be an observer okay don't be in the midst of it like step outside of it and be an observer and really um ask yourself and follow through like is this something that really serves you when you see angel number 919 you are definitely on the path to enlightenment these messages are not coming to you by accident it's not random your angels want you to pay attention to your inner visions your dreams and your goals when you see this number like basically really pay attention to your connection to your source not the connection to the people that are in your life like your connection to your higher self and your source what are your innermost thoughts telling you when you by yourself like pay attention to those messages that you're receiving like tap back in it's okay we all gonna fall off like we human we're living we're we're all trying to figure this thing out together that's why I always say your voice is so important because what you're going through, you may help somebody else. What I'm going through, I may help somebody else. 
okay? Even even negatively, like I always wanted to just show up and be so positive, but when your life not really going positive, you have to still be who you are and show people how you made it through, show people um, different tools and resources that they can use. Like it just, you really just gotta push through. I know it's challenging, it's a little hard, but that's what we gotta do. We just gotta push through. Everybody not chosen, everybody can't come. Everybody can't come. So when you're ready, you have to prepare yourself to live a life full of prosperity, abundance, love, generosity, good feeling thoughts, good food, good energy, laughing, like just an abundance of love and prosperity. It's coming to you. This is a sign. This really is a sign for good fortune, good love, good energy, good orgasms, good friends, good food, good ideas, good activities, good leisure <laughs> time. Like you're just gonna be in a really nice and good space. Okay, that's just like a little nudge. Like, yes, you're on the path. We're listening to you. We understand you're there. Stay focused, okay? Like the unconditional love and um, staying on the love vibration is so important because negative energies and relationships, they drain you. They're so damaging. They're so damaging to you, okay? You can't, you gotta have somebody that match your vibe. Negative friendships, negative coworkers, negative conversations. If you're around somebody that's always hating, like literally always hating, that's the negative energy. You gotta be careful of that spirit. You gotta pay attention to them spirits too. Like for real, they're draining. They will drain you. It's like they will feed your demons and they'll take a straw and they'll drain you of your effing energy. And guess what? When they suck you dry and they done got them demons all plump and full inside of you and in your space, guess what they gonna do? They gonna leave you. They gonna leave you to deal with that by yourself. That's not good, okay? So pay attention to the energy that you got around you and realize that that negative spirit, those envious spirits, those jealous spirits, those sad, depressed spirits are going to um, damage you. It's gonna be more damaging than what it's worth. What we're trying to do now is we're trying to um, stay loving no matter what type of energy you are surrounded with or what they do to you or how they hurt you. You want to stay loving and then you want to properly like release it just let it go you know what i'm saying really just let it go life is always a forward process we're not going backwards we're always moving forward we're moving forward okay so one like i said one door closes it's not for you to go back to that old door. You want a new door. You want a bigger door. You want a better door, right? You want a different door to go in. So it's always moving forward. We're not going backward to nothing. Ain't no doubling back. That's the dub. Ain't no doubling back. We're not doubling back, okay? We're going forward. We're moving forward. It didn't work. If it didn't work, it ain't working. Don't give people two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times to play with you. <laughs> Okay, we're not doubling back. We're not going back. We're not going back. Type that in the comments. We're not going back. Please put that in the comments. We're not going back. <laughs> we only moving forward. <laughs> you know, some relationships in our lives are seasonal. Some are for a reason. Some are for a lifetime. But everybody that crosses your path, they cross your path for a reason. No matter what, whether they hurt you, they stole from you, they lied to you, they cheated on you, whatever they did, beat you up, whatever they did to you, um, they crossed your path for a reason. You got to learn the lesson. We're not going to hold on to the hurt. We're going to learn the lesson and then we're going to move on so that we can stay into this loving vibration because what we're not going to do is um, change the way we operate and we live our lives. Like we're light workers, we're lovers, we are um, illuminators, we're co-creators, we're the uplifters, you feel me? So we have to make sure that we stay in that uh, vibration of uplifting people and being lovers and being nice to people. Don't, we're not watering dead plants. 
okay? It's dead. You have to let it go so that we can adapt. New energy, new people, new environments, new ideas, new projects. Just keep moving on. Just keep moving on. When you see angel number 919, your chances of meeting a new love interest is very, very high. That's why it's important to make sure your energy is still high. Because you don't want to meet somebody that's just like who you just left. Do you? No. You want to meet somebody that's at the vibration that you are trying to sustain or hire. Somebody that's going to help you and elevate you. Not somebody that's going to bring you down. You want somebody that's going to elevate you. And when you see this number, that person is very close to you, very near. Sit down, organize, plan, big goals, bigger goals, like what's next? Okay, because like I said, one door closes, another one opens. Let's be prepared for what we're walking into. Act like you already got it. Prepare for what you're praying for. Angel number 919 is a symbol of success. Things are going to come to an end. It's inevitable. Embrace it and be okay with it. Like, it's okay for things to come to an end. Let it die. What needs to be dead, let it die. So, <laughs> when you see angel number 919, they want you to forgive. I had to write this note in all caps in my journal because it can be very challenging for you to forgive someone that has hurt you or betrayed you or um, damaged you in some type of way. It can be very hard. And that's why it took me a while to even record this video because I knew I could not record this video until I had said in my mind that I have forgiven. Like, until I accepted that concept of forgiveness. And it was challenging. It was so challenging that I created a free class for us because I knew that I wasn't going through this just for me. I knew that I was going through this for us. I felt like that if, you know, you just got a loving energy and you do everything with a pure heart, you good. Like, you know, everything is good. But you are going to come across some situations and some... Uh, people that are going to be mean to you no matter how good and loving you are you're going to run across some fucking snakes they're going to hurt you are they going to betray you are they going to be mean to you they're going to do something that requires you to forgive them and forgiveness is not about them it's really about you when i noticed um after i recorded my snake video that I was still mad two weeks later, three weeks later, like literally still mad. I was like, oh no, I can't do this. Like for one, I'm not a mad person or a sad person or a depressed person. So I don't even stay in that energy and that vibration. But when I realized like the second week had gone by and I was still like, man, fuck that man. I want him dead like literally saying stuff like that and really meaning it like all them old videos about all oh, love everybody that was out the window i was really like i want that nigga dead like dead <laughs> and i meant it y'all like that's the crazy thing about it so before i could move forward and that is not my energy at all but it was my energy at that time like, and I'm okay to like, I'm past it now, so I'm okay to talk about it. But at that time, I was not in a space to try to lead nobody or encourage nobody because I couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really literally had to figure out a way. I had to watch forgiveness sermons. I had to order forgiveness books. I had to like literally look up how to forgive somebody. What can I do? Um, because I knew that it was holding me in a place that was not good. Like, I'm not forgiving what you did to me i'm not forgiving you because i want to reconnect with you i'm forgiving because i know that it is holding me down by carrying this heavy ass energy about somebody or something that somebody did to me that ain't even thinking about me no more no we're not doing that okay when you see angel number 919 they are calling you to forgive Whoever it is, it may be somebody from your childhood. It may be a person who 
cut you off in traffic this morning. It may be your coworker that just gets on your nerves. No matter who it is, it may be your child that disappointed you. I don't know what it is or what needs forgiveness, but click the link in the description and I got a free forgiveness, um, four steps to forgiveness masterclass. It's free, got a workbook, everything for us because what we're not going to do is hold on to anger. We are not doing that. This whole energy and vibration is about unconditional love, forgiveness, um, really loving people, even if they've been unloving to us, which means we have to forgive. And I know it's hard, trust me, I know it's hard. Listen to me. I'm going through that literally right now as we speak. But I'm strong enough and I'm emotionally intelligent enough to know that harboring hate and harboring hurt, because being hurt is just as damaging as being as hating somebody, um, that does not serve us, okay? So this number is letting you know that hate that you're carrying in your heart, you got to let it go and you got to forgive. And I'm letting you know that you can do it because if I can do it, you can too. So click the link. That's a free. You ain't got to pay me nothing for that. Like this is literally something I did out of love because I knew it was hurting me. Like it was literally hurting me emotionally to carry on some hurt. Like for what? Or hate. That is not a good thing like i really had to work through like writing lists about why i love this person um apologizing to myself forgiving myself forgiving him forgiving anybody like I literally had to work through that and um it was powerful and it works i want you to work through it too that's why i created this free forgiveness master class we are gonna forgive and we gonna jump right back on this love vibration because Love always wins, and love is going to carry you so much further than any hate could ever, ever carry you, okay? I forgive you. I forgive you. Like, I literally forgive you, and I love you. You know, once we get to that part to where, like, we can release that, we can make space for the new. We can make space for that new person that matches us, that loves us, that uh, appreciates us, adores us. We can move on. You can't move on when you mad and you angry and you're resentful. No, we got to operate in a, out of a space of love. Everybody can't be mad and angry. But it is a natural emotion, okay? Like, I realize that. Like, you can't be mad. I'm not saying don't feel the way you feel. By any means, I'm not saying that. So I definitely understand where you're coming from. But I also want us to know that we have to release it so that we can uh, catch that new fish. <laughs> Get that new fish, baby. What we don't want to do is waste a lot of time and energy on things that are not for us, not suited for us. It's just a waste of time, okay? So make sure you click the uh, links in the description and enroll in that free masterclass so that we can learn to forgive. You can definitely do better. You deserve better and you're going to get better, okay? All you got to do is remind yourself, first of all, who you are, what you want, what you deserve, and don't settle, okay? I learned a lot about boundaries um, in this phase of my life. I learned a lot about boundaries, okay, and trusting my intuition. Them years before I was talking about it, like, oh, you got to trust your intuition. Your intuition will lead you, but now I'm realizing that when you don't trust your intuition, like when you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. So when you ignore those intuitive nudges, you do not want to pay the price you got to pay. Like when you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. Don't wait to figure out why you should have been paying attention to your intuition. Okay? Don't do that. So when you see angel number 919, angels, you're being called. You get a second chance. Okay, you got some new opportunities coming to you, new love, new career, new money, new everything is coming to you. And you're going to love it. It's going to be better suited for you, but you have to be strong enough to let go of what's not serving you right now. Try new things. You may want to learn a new language. I've been saying I want to learn Mandarin for like three years now. Learn a new language, learn a new skill, learn a new hobby, teach somebody something. Your angels want you to maintain a healthy spiritual life. Like I had to come to the beach. Like I had to tap back into the basics. Like you got to do what works for you. Okay. Spiritually, like our, we are definitely 
listen, I cannot reiterate it enough. We are in a spiritual warfare. It's like, it's, it's hitting us back to back to back to back to back, whether it's personally, whether it's um, in our nation, whether it's on television, like people dying, people getting killed, people being evil. Like we are definitely in a spiritual warfare. You have to be protected. Like you gotta protect yourself. You have to protect yourself all across the board, okay? Once you tap in and you turn into your spiritual side, you're going to be able to see opportunities where people see um, closures, where people see uh, dead ends. You're going to see opportunities in that because you are connected. You got a higher wisdom. It's going to lead you to some beautiful places. I promise you that. Don't be afraid to let it go. Don't try to hold on to something that you need to let go of. Okay, let it go. You got a second chance to make your life more interesting. Don't F this up. Don't F it up. And your angels want you to serve. They want you to serve the people. Like with what I've been going through, I just felt like the best way I could serve y'all right now with what we all going through collectively, we got to learn to forgive. Forgiveness is so important for all of us right now. Like that's how I can show up and serve. How can you show up and serve? Are you going to entertain us? You're going to inform us? You're going to educate us? Like, how are you going to serve and show up for the people? How are you going to do it? Do it. We need you. We need you. We need more light in the world. If you're dealing with some life-changing decisions, like you got some real tough major decisions to make, um, the solution will be around you. Just open your eyes. Be more receptive. Ask to, most importantly, open your mouth and ask. Like, show me. What should I do? Should I move? Should I stay? Should I go? Um... Do I give this to them? Do I like just ask very specific and the answers will be revealed to you. Love is all around you. Okay. No matter what you're going through, open your eyes to see the unconditional love that is all around you. If you're an introvert like myself, you got to step out. They're not going to come knocking on the door. Okay. You got to step out. You can't just like lock yourself in. Step out. Um, embrace the new embrace the changes and most importantly we gonna forgive okay we gonna forgive we're gonna forgive so we can keep that heart space open um i hope that you got a divine message by watching this video thank you for always receiving me thank you for always showering me with your love thank you for always allowing me to be who i am like the feeling is amazing. Like, I can't make it up. Click the links in the description. If you got any good energy from this video, thank you for putting your hearts in my comments. We're going to forgive. We're going to forgive. All right. So, click that link. Enroll in that free masterclass. It's free. I created it for you. I just want us all to get on this vibe to where we're not harboring any hate any low vibrating energies we're not mad at anyone we are sending love to everyone even those that hurt us okay i love you i love you a million times over and i will definitely be back i'm back i don't stay down for long okay like i may be off a little bit but one thing about me i'm never gonna stay down for long i'm always gonna come back to you and i love you and i'm, I'm wishing you nothing but the best